Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. The new twist season has been a lot of fun and I'm here to tell you the good news and the good news is that you can actually play Handlock in the Twists Wonders format. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. This is Matatoms' list. I picked it up from Twitter and obviously the first I made it when I saw I saw a Handlock deck, I had to play it. I played eight games with this, I won five games, I lost three, so five and three. That's not bad, and yeah, it's just one of my favorite archetypes of all time. If you're new to Handlock, what does Handlock do? Well, Handlock plays some big giants, because you're a mountain giant, costs one less for each other card in your hand, so this will eventually cost only three mana when you have ten cards in your hand. And then there's the molten giant, costs one less for each damage your hero has taken, so that can even cost zero once you're down to ten health. It's not actually damage you have taken, it's actually just distance between your current health and your maximum health, so at 10 health that's going to cost 0. Mountain Giant can usually come down on turn 4 with this deck, it will cost 4 mana, 9 cards in hand, boom, Mountain Giant on the board, then you play some big giants and you can give them Taunt with Sunfury Protector with Defender of Argus, so you can use those to protect yourself while hitting the opponent in the face. And that's not everything, because you also have Void Caller in the deck, and you have some big demons in the deck, like Malganis. So if you have a demon in hand and Void Caller, then Void Caller can summon those big demons. And then you have Faceless Manipulators in the deck, and you can make copies of your big giants, you can make copies of your big demons, you can give Taunt to your Void Caller with the Taunt Givers. There's just there's so much Hearthstone to be played with this deck. And that's not everything, because with Faceless Manipulator, you also have a semi-combo, because Leroy Jenkins, Faceless Manipulator, okay, that's 12 damage. Add 1 power overwhelming and boom, that's 20 damage. Add 2 power overwhelming and boom, that can be 28 damage. And add a dark bomb and suddenly it's 31 damage, so you have some combo potential. Obviously, to unleash all of your combo potential, Emperor Torisan, at the end of the turn, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by 1. So in order to push that 20, you need to reduce Leroy, Faceless or power overwhelming by 1. But these are pretty reasonable requests, so you have big giants, you have big burst, then you have stuff like Sylvanas here, you have stuff like Ragnaros here, you even have Lord Charaxus here. So there's just so much Hearthstone to be played with this deck. Obviously we're still early in Twist season, so there can be different variations of this deck. Some notable omissions that are not included in this list include Shadow Flame, Sylvanas Shadow Flame, a classic for destroying all the small minions and stealing a big one. Faceless Shamblers are missing, which could also become really big with the Giants. So, I think there's still some development that can be done. What I found that I was weaker against stuff like Discard Warlock, against stuff like Undertaker Hunter. So maybe cutting some of the top end from Ragnar's side and some of those top end cards in order to put in a little bit more early, early removal so that you don't get snowboard so hard, something like that could happen. So I believe there's still stuff that can be done to make this deck better, but it's already playable and it's a lot of fun, it's handlock. And it's just as beautiful as the day I've last played it. And this is what it looks like in action. You could, but every you would not get paid at all. <laughs> Wings of Liberty, yeah. Good old, good old days. Oh, how do I get twist packs? Let's play some games first. I gave away 40 packs yesterday, giving away 40 packs today, giving away 40 packs tomorrow. Jades. Uh huh. Well, I might be able to beat Jades. Or maybe not, they just ramped twice. At least I have a Molten Giant. There are 11 legends in Twist at the moment, okay. Well, those few people, few hundred people who played the legend in last month got a lot higher multiplier. No, there are no drops. But I have packs that I can actually just give away. So at this point I want to SS manipulator this. What if they have a swipe? 5 plus 2 damage. 
We just hit them in the face, right? Because they have to kill one of the mountain giants now, or there's lethal next turn. We go 16 plus 7. Yeah. This is Metatoms' his handlock, and Metatoms played this. I'm not sure if he played it to Legend. I think I think he did. And he said that he had a good win rate against the Meta decks. But this doesn't look very promising right now. Like what? Boom! I guess we die. If they have another death rattle minion, I'm dead. Because I won't be able to kill the Undertaker. I'm dead. Well, that happened. I have to Hellfire. But it's not enough to kill the Undertaker, so I still die. Okay. Well, that happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ball. That doesn't actually give you any more stuff. No. How's Rumble content going? I haven't played. I haven't had time to play Rumble. Well, we want this one out there. This kills the Undertaker. And this heals me up a little. Doesn't heal me up enough. I can't afford to do free content, basically. I need to... Oh, that happened. Then we died. Exactly lethal. No, it was, it was even 7-3 seven over. Aha, uh -huh. that was five turns that we did. We can do better than a Twilight Drake. I believe we can do better. I was considering keeping one of the Drakes, but I figured we might be might be able to get the giant because giants are fun. What if this is actually an aggro druid? They're coming straight for us. I don't know. I mean, you could put living roots into another kind of druid deck as well. Just to have a little bit of something there. I suppose. We'll coil one of these. Seven cards in hand, we'll tap. Alright, alright. I have already. Well, I have a Void Caller coming that can pull an Enforcer. Ah, oh, it's Jades. Alright. Twilight Drake or Void Caller? I guess we'll do the Void Caller now. That will get me a 6-6. Six, six. If it even dies. A spellbreaker. What do you know? What do you know? That was unexpected. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. Now I could play another Void Caller. We're getting to a point where playing the Twilight Drake makes sense. Play the Drake and trade that one away. They could have like a swipe that would kill this for nothing. They could of course trade the one one.
All right, another Twilight Drake, so... Twilight Drake and Taunt up, right? Can I let this damage through? Dark Bomb the Spellbreaker. I guess I could do that as well. Five damage through, I go to eight. That's, that's okay. We'll kill that draw shadow spell. Bump into this one. This is still fine. So if I do this... Trade there, trade there. Okay. This is totally fine. Next turn I set up the taunts with the giant. Yeah, that's totally fine. So now we go in with the mountain giant. And the defender of Argus here. And we start smacking the druid in the face. Okay. I already saw your spellbreaker. I don't think you have another silence effect. And there's two big taunts here. So what you gonna do, who? Did you think about Faceless Shambler? Uh, this is Matatharmsi's deck. I, I'm just testing it for the first time here, so I haven't I haven't really paid, paid too much thought to the archetype yet. Is the new format fun? Yeah, I think it is quite fun. It has nostalgic elements to it, but there's also like lots of new stuff. We have lethal, don't we? No, Jerox didn't get to finalize the swing. Rogue A. Let's see. We'll see. Yep, Jade Arenos. They are coming. Well, that's a nice card to pull from a Void Caller, potentially. But now this is one of the premium premium decks in the format. Let's see what we can do. Okay, a couple of alternatives. Mountain Giant, Void Caller. I think Hellfire on these probably isn't the answer. They most likely will be able to kill a Mountain Giant. I think this is a Void Caller turn. Let's give that a try. What's your favorite deck so far? I don't know. The format has so many new things that it's really super hard to say. Okay, now if they manage to fit, get, catch my Malganis, then that would be a problem. But if they don't, then it's not. Just face with everything. Why not, why not? I think this has to go here. And then I dog bump that one. Okay. But I think Rogue can kill A97 Malganis. That's the problem here. I think Rogue is able to kill it. On the other hand, sometimes Rogue isn't, which makes life a lot more interesting. But then again, Malganis gives your other demons plus two, plus two, so it also buffs the other Malganis, right? 
Isn't it going to be terribly difficult for them to kill these Malganises here? I think it should be awfully difficult for them to handle these. Two eleven nines. Like, you can kill one, but how do you kill both? Then I have Power Overwhelming Dark Bomb, so that's another 7 damage. So one Malgan is dead, the other Malgan is can still kill them with Power Overwhelming Dark Bomb. I don't think you can kill two copies. Yeah. Oh well, how about that? Malganis. This, this, this matchup. I assume that's gonna be a discard lock. Last time I lost real hard. But we're only 0 1. We still have, we still have a chance. That is not... What is that? That is not a discard lock. We're in a mirror. No? What is going on? Is it a Reno lock? It could be a Reno lock. Totally could. Reno lock makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll kill the peddler. Let's try this. There's also like a coin tours in play. I'm intrigued by the coin tours in play. I'll coin the Emperor. We'll have some cheap cards. Don't happen to have any demons here. I guess it's tap into Twilight Drake then. I can also I can also model coil that one. Let's coil that one first. It doesn't even cost anything. I can tap into Mountain Giant too. I'll tap into the Mountain Giant. Okay. It has to be a Reno lock then, after all. I, I thought they were running some weird cards for a Reno lock, but it has got to be a Reno lock. But, I mean, I have giants for days. I could do giant and the Drake both. I guess we will. Let's drop both of them out there. Working towards the turn 8 Lord Jaraxxus. Boom. Okay. See what you did there. And coil one of these. Oof. That was a that was a tough hit. I guess that means a molten giant here. Antique heal, but now. And we'll give these minions taunt. And we'll kill the Belcher. We have a Lord Jaraxxus for next turn. Like, if they twisting another the board, then. Then the board is empty for my Jaraxxus. 
I will not be able to draw many cards after that, though, if that happens. Four damage again. Do Boombots always deal four nowadays? Have Boombots been upgraded? No, it is still one to four. Every Boombot I have seen has dealt four. That's the interesting part. They do go for the Twisting Nether, though. Ha 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 ha. I mean, I have 20 with the Leroy Faceless Power Overwhelming. Giveaway will be later tonight. Casagus. Oh dear, oh dear. Double Casagus. When one Casagus just isn't enough. They could get the polymorph, mass polymorph thing. So if I play my Sylvanas, they could just end up mass polymorphing everything. I think I'll need to bait it with the Void Caller. I need to bait the mass polymorph with the Void Caller here. I don't have any demons in hand, I know. We're trying to bait the mass poly. And if they don't get something defensive at the same time, I have 20 from hand and I have 3 from the weapon. Let's see. Yeah, it was empty. Does it summon the Belcher? It did not summon the Belcher. They are so dead. Leroy Jenkins. All right. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.